If you're watching this video on cPanel because you're looking to get more information while you try and build the perfect website for you or your business, then before we get started, I want to point you in the direction of WP Beginners Professional Services. WP Beginners WordPress experts have been building websites across various industries for over a decade. If you want a highly customized website to your exact specifications, then I strongly recommend checking out our professional services. Check the link down in the top pin comment or in the description. Setting up and having your WordPress website isn't quite the end of the story. You can't just put content up and expect everything to run seamlessly. You need to do a little bit of website management now and again. And one of the most powerful tools that you've got at your fingertips to be able to do that is cPanel. Now, if you are new to website building or even having your own WordPress website, this can sound a little bit intimidating, but don't worry. We're gonna break it down nice and easily, nice and simply so you know exactly what's going on. So what exactly is cPanel? Well, if we give the C a full name, we can call it a control panel. cPanel is like a mission control center. You can manage everything from adding content to adding and changing email addresses. But the best part for you, if you are a beginner, is that cPanel is super user-friendly, absolutely no coding required. You're gonna be able to access it through your web browser and manage everything through clicks. Absolutely no complicated commands. So what can you do with cPanel? Well, you're gonna be able to upload and edit all of your website files, text, images, videos. As I said earlier, create email accounts for your website and manage databases, store, your website's information, and loads more. Basically, you can consider cPanel a bit of a one-stop shop for taking full control of your website. Now, a slight drawback here, cPanel isn't free, but the chances are you already have it and you're not paying for it. It's included with most hosting providers' basic tools. They give it to you for nothing. All right, let's get into some specifics. I've told you how amazing cPanel is. How do you access it? Well, when you took out your hosting plan, you were probably sent out an email with a link so that you were able to access it. Now, most of us or a lot of us will have either disregarded that email, lost that email, put it in some junk somewhere. So don't worry, there is obviously other ways to get into your cPanel. I'm gonna put a couple of URLs up on screen and I'll also put them in the description and you're gonna be able to use those most of the time to get access to your cPanel. That's essentially your link and then you add your username and password and voila, you have access. Some hosting providers are also gonna show you a cPanel option within your dashboard. So that's nice and easy as well. So it's always worth paying attention to where you're getting your hosting from because that's gonna help you out. Firstly, get cPanel. For example, we would recommend checking out Bluehost and then how easy it's gonna be for you to access it. You're also gonna find with hosting providers like Bluehost, you're gonna be able to do things like install WordPress with just a few clicks and that's all coming through cPanel. It's making your life an awful lot easier all the time. Now, you might not always have access to a cPanel or be using one depending on the type of hosting that you have. If you have a fully managed WordPress hosting, for example, then you may not have access to cPanel, but that's not really a big issue if you are going fully managed. There's a lot of information there about cPanel and especially how it ties back into hosting. So with that in mind, you might want to, especially if you haven't started your WordPress site yet, take a dive into the best hosting providers and make sure you choose yours very carefully. And if you want a hand with that, then just click this video right here.